Hi, it's Robbie from Southern California, and I'm coming out just as the sun is going down. I'm going to do a really quick zip around the deck because I just realized it's been three weeks. Let's just kind of show you what's been going on in three weeks because it's absolutely fascinating. I've got my dill, which is all going to seed, and that is great. I'm going to collect the seed, and I'm going to try to remember to make some pickles, which I have not done yet. This is my oregano which I can't believe I haven't done anything with it. I was going to separate it and it's still growing really good. I've got celery. I've got garlic chives. I've got a little tomato plant there. Got mint. I think it's mint there. Swiss chard. More mint. Purslane. You know, at first I thought there was too much purslane, but now I have been watching the goldfinches eat the seeds and I didn't know that they eat purslane. So now I'm going to leave a whole lot more. This is my stevia. This came from the front where I grow all the turmeric and ginger. I moved this here, what, over a year ago and it is doing beautiful with a lettuce coming up in the back in an ice cream container. I've got parsley, more garlic chives, more purslane down there and celery. And then let's look over here real quick. Still got tomatoes growing. I still have containers. I haven't gotten to this yet because I'm working in the garden. In fact, the reason I seem like I'm in a hurry is because I am going to go back in the garden right now and go get things done as the sun is down. You know how it's been kind of warm. This tomato plant is doing fantastic. I can't believe how loaded it is with tomatoes. I believe this is one of my cuttings for my 100. So we will see. That had the patio tomato, the little one. That one finally died back. I took it out. It was not going to make it. So I'll get something else going in there. In fact, I see a little tomato plant starting there. Maybe I'll leave that. This is lettuce. I've been leaving this for the goldfinches along with some kale or yeah, kale and celery. Celery is fine in there. There's my strawberries down there in the bucket. Let's see what's over here. Here's another one, not a lot of leaves, but that's okay. As soon as I see the leaves are yellow, I just take them off and I let the tomato do its thing. We'll see how good this one does, but I mean, it's not doing bad. We keep picking tomatoes and it keeps having tomatoes. So even more flowers are starting right now. Then my Moringa, which is up there. It's such a beautiful evening. And then I've got just different things in there. A lot of that has to be cleaned out, but there is some lettuce back there, a tomato plant that doesn't look that good. I've got to get into this corner as soon as I'm done with my regular garden. This garden is very much, could be my winter garden. It's easy because I can come out at night after dinner, even in the dark, turn on the lights and work. And I usually do that. But now that I've got it set up the way I like it, I probably will have this more of a winter garden for me here in California. And with the glass, that is glass, it keeps this whole area warmer. So things can grow probably much better up here in the winter than in the garden where it's open from the canyon breeze. This blocks it out. Look at this. I've got the tomato plant growing up there. I've got beans growing. Now this I did not pick. You saw this three weeks ago. I'm getting ready to pick it. This is the zucchini bush baby. And I want to get some seeds out of here. Now, I probably shouldn't even grow it, but I like the way it's compact and it's already starting to grow more. I need to get it off so these will survive. See the plant? Remember, if you remember way back, it had a tear in the trunk. So I wrapped it with tool to protect it. And let me tell you something, that works. I use it a lot, tool on protecting plants. Maybe if you got squash bugs, certain ones, you might be able to wrap the trunk and protect the plant. But see, this is coming through here. This is still attached. I'm gonna take it off very soon and hope I have some seeds in there. The only problem is this one has been flowering at the same time that was, so it won't be pure. I'll tell you something, a lot of the seeds you buy that say they're zucchini and when you only grow zucchini and you hand pollinate, it doesn't look like zucchini. So this is something I've heard about even in Australia. They've been complaining about that, but anyways, Let's go back over here. I want to get that off very soon and I will collect the seeds. Now I've got parsley, this tomato plant. See, it's conked out. They're determinant. I'm not even going to try to keep it. Oh, this is a red roselle. We'll see how that does. So I'm done with those tomato plants. They're really small. We got a couple dozen tomatoes off of it. I can't complain, but I like bigger tomato plants. Look at this. This is a cutting from a purple tree collar and it's doing fantastic. I collect the water on on here, in here, and then I can rewater a lot of plants. So it's like a compost tea I'm making. 
and then I've got another t small tomato plant in here growing and then I've got the beans that are growing see I've got the beans growing these are the scarlet runner beans the red ones and that's all that's growing in there except for the poplo that came up which will grow all through into the winter and then the winter it will die back and then there is kind of like a feeding station for the hummingbirds and the orioles as you can see they're all trying to come in so i'm going to do this quick so they can come in i've got a small cabbage that hopefully i can pick pretty soon this one was another one that was damaged but it looks like it's making a comeback it's feeding off the tube you know how i do the tube remember i showed you with the the black irrigation tubing the stuff i use all over here well here i used a straw this is a straw and it does the same thing. So I water in here, which has got all those goodies in there. You know, I put in sh shredded paper and leaves and everything. And when I water this, and of course the beans are giving off great microbes and stuff, it goes in there and it, this one's making a really, a real good comeback. Celery, purslane, this is where the goldfinches come in every, not, every morning. And you see them just hanging on there, feeding. Then I've just got some flowers. Look at the hummingbirds, they're all over it. They're in the window right now and everything. This is a little pepper plant that looked like it was dead and it was growing in a grow bag. There was nothing left to it. So I left the good one in the grow bag and brought this one over here. And what I do at night is I cover it with a bottle. See? And that works perfect and it's making a big comeback. It had no leaves. So I didn't think it was going to come back. So that should be really, really good. Then I've got some tomatillos coming up in here. And this is, I think there's been caterpillars on this. This is a hybrid brassica that grew in our yard. This is a cutting, so it's doing pretty good for me. I don't care if there's a couple worms, I'll take them off. I just want the cutting to take, and then I'll find a better place for it. Some Swiss chard, and let's see what else. Walking onions. I think that cabbage I should take out and compost. And then I've got garlic chives and sage. This is tricolored sage. There's a celery in there. I'll have to get that out. This is broccoli for Kitty. I don't want to call her out here because I don't know if I've got any more. She ate some the other day. There's a lot of leaves, but I'll see. Then chocolate mint in here. I did not get to this tote. I've been pulling out the last of my onions and actually using them. So that's been really good. Now in here is the white patty squash. And it, I think we'll have to go on the other side. It's just starting. These are small totes. These aren't real big. They're not the big 18 gallon ones. They're shorter, but they're still working. Look at this. Oh, and that zucchini back there. And they're all full of zucchini. And see back there, that little cottage cheese and sour cream container. That's a two system setup. And let me tell you something. Look at this plant. It really works. I mean, look at the leaves. In a tote, like they're bigger on the other side. And I'm not sure what the dogs are barking about. It could be a coyote. And then I've got walking onions, garlic chives. I've got a little tomato coming up in here, but it's set root. So we're going to leave it in the pot. Some more red roselle. And look at this tomato plant. Look at these. A lot of these were cuttings I put in here. These might be more cuttings from the 100s. Look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? And then, of course, I go through and well, I should cut it, but I trim off. All the leaves that are no good. I don't worry about where it goes. We just don't throw it away. And we've been getting tomatoes. And let's go on the other side. So I've got this one. Look at that. I can't believe how many squash I've got off of this. This has been amazing. We're not done. Look at this. One plant that was so damaged. This one had a really bad damaged trunk. And look, more zucchini there coming up. That I had to lean it on cardboard and do the same thing, wrap it. And it came back. But look at the size of that. I should pick it. I'm going to pick it probably tomorrow morning. I'll pick them both. So that has two big ones. So then this plant should go a little longer. And then everything you've seen on this side, more of the tomatoes. This is what I'm going to show you. Look at the leaves. Is that amazing? In a tote. Look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? And then this is cilantro. This I set up two months ago and we constantly take from that. Look at that. And it keeps coming back. You clip it and it comes back. And now I've got some more little cilantro coming in down here. You can't grow cilantro in the heat of summer. Everybody tells you that. But let me tell you something. When you've got it in a dish pan and you have anything that you can move, if it's too hot, you move it in the shade and just keep it happy. If it's a nice day and it's not real hot, then move it out in the sun and it works. Keep it damp. We've come all through here. This is a purple basil, but I think it's a hybrid. 
because I was growing both. And notice this is so green. The flowers are purple, but not as purple as it should be. So I've got a hybrid basil. More lettuce down here, onions, garlic chives. I dropped in, I think you've seen the videos on how you can grow turmeric from skin. I dropped in a piece of skin and look at the turmeric growing. This little pepper plant is making a comeback. I was thinking of taking it out and I thought, no, I'll leave it. Lettuce everywhere that's gone to seed, which is good because I have to set up some more lettuce. And I think we've made a really complete circle because I want to get back into the garden. Now this is where I've got, this is white patty squash. See that? Look at all the squash. Isn't that cool? There's two plants. There's one back there and there's one here. There is no two system in here. I do want to take out probably the chocolate mint and do a two system very soon, but I do have a two system in there. I showed you a whole video on how I did that and it catches in the bucket down there and then I catch it in a watering can and then I put it here and I water these plants with it. So it really, really makes a difference. This is just a little firecracker plant. We had gone somewhere once and it was the smallest piece of stem I put in here and it just sat for like six months or longer. And all of a sudden it's starting to grow. It's not something you eat, but it grows really nice flowers for hummingbirds. So I hope it makes it. And then of course, another celery, which is sitting right here. So when I water this and it goes through, it waters the celery and the walking onion. So we made a really quick zip around the deck. Let's see, more oregano down there. Now this is just a whole bunch of tomatoes that came up and I believe this might be San Marzano because I had one growing here and it was dying and there was a tomato on there and I kind of squished it in there. So I'm going to move these all over soon. Right now they can stay there and they're trying to grow, but I'm going to start pulling them out and separating them and moving them. Of course, I've got the celery. It's hybridized with the red celery we used to have. That's why you see the stalks are so red in there. More garlic chives. My old carrots. I've got lettuce growing out the window too. There's nothing nicer than being in the house, gonna make a sandwich, you want some lettuce for your sandwich, and you just go ahead and grab it right out the window. It works perfect. You can grow it in the house and then put it outside during the day too. And then I've got parsley. I haven't done anything in here, but I'm letting the parsley do its thing. That's it, I took all the lettuce out of here, and I wanna clean this up, and I probably will be putting more lettuce in there. And that is it. We have done a full spin. So all of you that are excited about the balcony to see, this has just been phenomenal because even tonight I came out for dinner, I grabbed some squash, I, I made, you know, a meal out of everything that was here. All I did was add a little chicken to it and we had dinner and there's nothing greater than being able to step out, grab some beans, grab some squash, grab some garlic chives and onions, which I did, get some greens, parsley, everything you need right on your deck. I can't believe it. So anyways, it's like I'm whispering, like I'm not trying to disturb them. Look at them. You know, I can't do this because when I stop, I just want to watch them all day. Okay, so I think that's it. I don't know if Kitty wants to come out. Kitty, I don't have any broccoli. Here, Kitty, you want some broccoli? You want some broccoli? Oh, she does. This is only a leaf. Is that good enough for you? Not what you wanted. She says, I want bro I don't have anything. That's all I've got. I don't have any broccoli here. Let me see if I have a better leaf. She says, I have to make sure I didn't touch their oregano because she doesn't like that. Let's see, Kitty. How about this? Jeez, I don't have any broccoli. It's all leaves right now. How about this leaf? Let's see if this one's better. She thinks she's getting broccoli. Is that one better? Okay, that one she says is better. So with that, I hope you enjoyed this quick zip around the deck. This has just been fantastic. And I hope to keep this going all winter really good. Carrots and different things going in here. Radishes, keep the lettuce growing. Like I said, the popolo back there, that will grow well into the winter. And then when it gets really cold, it will die back, but it'll give me a lot of seeds. So I hope you enjoyed this. I still got some onion seeds here I've got to get off. That's why I've got some onion here. This is an actual onion, not a walking onion. And I've got some more onion around here just from the seeds that fell and grew. So with that, have a wonderful day. And don't forget, wow, to eat what you grow. Oh my goodness. And I had planned on picking them smaller to make pickles. Oh, we'll make something else. Bye-bye.